Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, come on in. Uh, for the month of October, all tower readings are 15% off. So if you wanted to book your reading with me, just go to EliteRoseTarot.com or you can go to the description and click the link. And if you wanted to sign up for my free newsletter, just go to the description and click the link, okay? I kind of want to see where you guys are at. I hope everybody is having a great week. Wanted to see what was the mindset. Surrender just popped out for you. Ooh, let the shit happen. I can, I can release my need to control. You can't control a situation, okay? And somebody needs to be honest. And trust is here with guilt. Oh my gosh, let's get it. Let's get it. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> but you got surrender, honesty, trust, and guilt here. Um, honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Guilt, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And surrender, I can release my need to control. This feels like um, a situation you couldn't, couldn't change. An inevitable ending of some sort. Surrounded around honesty too and being able to trust either a person, place, or thing. But it's a person. You got the lovebirds popping out here. Something about trust. Why guilt? I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. Ooh. Okay. So it's kind of telling me pretty much everything here. I don't know what went down, but somebody just decided to surrender to the situation and let listen, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you do what you need to do. Like I'm not I'm not gonna chase you. I'm not gonna not at all. Um somebody created a, a third party situation where trust was completely shattered. Um you were being honest, honesty was needed. I think when it comes to honesty, if this person was honest with you, it would have never been this. Um, guilt is here. Why? Someone feels guilty about the things that they did. Uh, they feel as though they completely broke a situation that was beautiful, especially with the lovers being here and the two of wands, like this person could see themselves um, building with you, planning with you, planting seeds, even having children. Like this person could see it all with you, but when the lovers is here, that's free will. You have the free will to make it beautiful or you have the free will to fuck it up. Um, and this person went the other way. Uh, a third party situation was created, looking for new desires. Um, why eight of wands swords? This person may have tried to hide it too. Um, that's what that feels like. It feels like they were hiding new desires from you. Um, trying to keep you, trying to only show you an obstructed view of what the situation was. Like this person kept some secrets. They hid some secrets. Um, I guess at one point it was so many lies you started to feel crazy. You know, like mentally trapped, like what is going on? Why do I have this issue in my relationship? Especially with the nine of wands being here, it was like you were fighting and the moon right next to it. You didn't even know what the fuck you were fighting about. Like you were fighting about something that was hidden, something that was unknown. Intuitively, you felt it was someone else. Intuitively, you felt like this person is intentionally picking a fight with me. It sounds like somebody that would pick a fight just to be able to leave so that they could go do what they wanted to do. And you started to catch on to that really quickly. This person was a burden for you financially as well. I don't know if it looks like they live with you um, and they were a complete and total burden on you. Um, you're coming up as a nine of pentacles with that four of wands there and the queen of pentacles. Like this is your house. This is your domain. Um, and this person brought all this shit to you. What happened? Because there was an opportunity here. There was an opportunity in, in, there was an opportunity in the truth. I don't know what you told this person. If this is not your story, it doesn't resonate. Don't try to make it fit. But this feels like something that just happened. Like you told them, tell me the truth. If you can't tell me the truth, I'm leaving. I'm walking away, you know, or you need to leave. If you can't tell me the truth, if you can't be honest. I'm giving you the opportunity right now to tell me everything. Lay it out on the line. Let me know what I'm dealing with. And this person kept quiet.
and kept like trying to make you believe something that was not the truth. Um, it's something in their response that was very immature. Uh, they didn't like to be backed in a corner in a sense, even though you didn't come at them crazy, they felt like they were backed in a corner. Um, it's just giving the, the feeling of, I got to fight a flight. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to admit anything. So I'm going to either argue with you or I'm going to run away or they did both. Um, whatever they did, it was enough. Cause at that point you just said, I, I don't, I don't care. It's something about them trying to come back though. You know, <sighs> Ooh, okay. This shit got real messy. You found out people knew too. You found out people knew close people to them. People that rather people that are close to them, like mom, um, sister, brother, cousin, put it where it fits. But somebody that's close to them and someone that's always been in your energy knew about this other person and didn't say anything to you. Um, you felt like they were conspiring against you at one point. Because it's like when you start to think about everything, you're like, wait a minute. So you knew, but you didn't put me on. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me watch my back. You didn't tell me you need to talk to him. Um... I guess in a sense, they felt like, and, and please do not shoot the messenger. They felt like your person in this situation would have gotten their shit together in time. So you didn't have to know. Um, they thought they would take accountability for themselves and do the right thing because they would pull this person to the side and be like, you know, you're wrong. You know, you need to make a choice. You know, you need to cut this one off and be honest with this one because this is the one that's holding you down. Um, I guess they... The definition of it ain't my business, so I ain't gonna say nothing. Like you listen again, what does this card say? <laughs> Honesty. I can expect, I can always expect the truth from others. No, sorry. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Everybody's not gonna tell you the truth. You know, um, the only truth you can expect is your own. <sighs> not giving them a pass, but they thought this person would have lived in their truth by now. Like I, <sighs> I feel like this went on for some time. You really did not know this went on for some time. Like other people thought that they had figured this out with you. I don't know if you recently kicked this person out. Um, yeah, it feels like if you were living with this person or they were live rather take the energy, I resonate, but whatever the situation is, this person is looking at what they have. And they're looking at what you have and it's a conflict here of some sort. This could even be like fighting over a home, fighting over residency, fighting over like, mm, this just comes off as like creep vibe. Like this person was out here doing the most. And now that you're standing up for yourself, now that you're not willing to take their shit anymore, now they want to fight back. Now they want to say, well, they got rights. They got this, they got that, you know, it's, it's bullshit. Um, when at the end of the day, they hurt themselves. Like this person really put themselves in a world of hurt. You didn't do it. They did it to themselves. I think that's why surrender is here. You just like said, just fuck it. Like I can't, I can't fight with you. The relationship didn't work. I'm damn sure not about to sit here and fight with you over something material. I'm just not going to do it. Oof, the devil's here with this trial. You tried to build with the devil. Mm -mm. Making deals with the devil. That is was not going to work. Um... When I see the devil, the seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune, it's like spirit is saying, now, what have you learned? <laughs> okay. Um, have we learned our lesson here that going towards a certain type of energy is going to bring back a certain type of energy? Um, it's something about a red flag. This person gave you in the beginning that you overlooked something is something that you saw, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it, and you went forward anyway, you know, but yeah, lesson learned, lesson learned. Ace of Cups right behind it with the the Eight of Wands. This person is, <sighs> yikes. This person's coming in kind of crazy. I don't know if they got family members trying to talk to you. Like, they're coming at you from like a, a staticky vibe. Like, they're just kind of, oh, I can't have you, so I want I want this. I want this stuff. It's, it's like they're trying to come to you from a materialistic standpoint to get whatever they still had if they were living with you. Um, but they have their family members possibly reaching out to tell you how much they love you, how much they care about you. Do you think you could try it with them? Do you think you can make this work? And you're just like, y'all not serious. Y'all knew about the situation. Now you want me to help this person out? I don't fucking think so. You help them. Whew. 
I am talking for somebody today. I don't know whose story this is right here. Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Tower. Let me tell you something. You let that tower fall. You listen. Mm -mm. You have helped this person more than enough. It is time for them to help themselves because the moment you allowed that tower to fall, the moment you surrendered and you said, you know what? It is what it is. You wanted to be with somebody else. You have all the time in the world to go do that. Explore that. I'm good. I'm going to be over here. Doors open up for you. Ten of Pentacles is right here. This person was holding a lot of shit back. They were holding some money back from you. They were holding opportunities back from you. They were holding your potential back from you. They were holding you back. And now they're not in a good position. It's like almost, I don't, I don't know where this person is staying, but they're not, they're not stable at all. They're not stable. But it, I think that's what kept you on the hook that long is that you were trying to help this person so much and you knew, like, you know what it is to, to be out there and, and not have your own and have to fight to get it. Like you really were working with this person and now you just really, uh, it was a fear, some type of fear that you faced, whether it was the fear of being alone, this person leaving, um, the fear of not helping them anymore because you're so used to helping them. You face the fear here. And Ace of Wands is here with the temperance to create a balance in your life. Like I said, you've got potential now and opportunity here twice, balance here and justice here. Um, every, this person has to pay. There's consequences to their actions. You can't be a part of their karmic debt anymore. You can't be a part of this person's karmic debt anymore. Five of Swords here. And this is someone that's going to continue to look a fool. This is going to continue to hold on to you. Continue to try to argue with you. Continue to try to get their point across. Um, but you bounce back quickly. You'll bounce back very quickly from this. Please don't allow this person to make you think you won't because you will. You will bounce back very quick, uh, especially with the world being here and the magician with the two of pentacles. You know how to work very hard. You know how to make sure that you leave an impression on people. Um, you know how to make connections. You know what I mean? So you're good. You have a skill this person does not have. This is giving me somebody that like not for nothing and not trying to knock nobody's hustle or whatever. But this is giving me the vibe of somebody that um, may was incarcerated at some point and a lot of shit that they did from the past is holding them back right now. And so you were that shining light. You were that opportunity for them to kind of get their shit together. And you were, you were doing it for the right intentions However, with the controlling part, right, that's where things got a little fuzzy because you, if, if a person is used to a certain way of life, I don't even know how to say that. It's like you, you, you had already lost before you started, if that makes any sense. You had already lost before you started. And people may have said that to you. They may have said like, why are you doing this? You know what I mean? Like, why are you helping this person? Didn't you help them already? It was, it was something about this was a hard lesson that you had to learn and understand. And you cannot help people so much that you're, you're depleting your resources to the degree of you not realizing you're not looking out for yourself anymore. You know, and had the roles been reversed, had this, and you was, God forbid, incarcerated or whatever the situation was, would this person have looked out for you as much as you looked out for them? Hell no. I mean, it's, it's, given, a, a, it's given a vibe of like you did not know this person had the nerve to be with somebody else after everything you've given them, um, which is crazy because I, I, can, I can absolutely relate to that. You know what I mean? Um, it, 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 I don't want to tell this story because it wasn't my story, unfortunately. It was, a, it was somebody that I knew that had got locked up and I was just there. This is me telling a little too much, but fuck it. We talk about everything here. I was just there to help get that person bailed out, okay? And this is years ago. And I was talking to a young lady and she was waiting for her boyfriend to come out. And, you know, me and her have been sitting there for hours because, you know, they make you wait and all this other shit. And uh, she was so in love and all of this other shit. And when they called her dude up, another chick stood up and she's standing there like, who is that? And the other girl's looking at her like, who are you? You know, it was it, it was a wild scene in that courtroom. Let me just say that. Um, but it, it was the ultimate betrayal.
You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm standing here with money in my hand, ready to get you released. And you had the next chick sitting here doing the same shit. It is giving a very specific story or tone. That's the only reason I told that story. But understand that this was dead weight. You had to cut off. You couldn't keep moving forward with this person. This person got to move forward with their own life. Shit, they done, they done literally ruined a lot of things about their life that is not ruined on your end. You know, um, and you can't help everybody. Everybody is not your assignment. This is a grown-ass adult, and they need to take responsibility for themselves, especially with that will of fortune being there. That's an end to a hard cycle, and this person was a hard cycle for you. Like, the, like I said, the moment you drop them, everything opens up. You know, it's, it's crazy, and I think that you needed a hard kick in the ass, if that makes any sense, for you to really decide, I'm done with this person, okay? Um, now life begins. Just pick up and build again. Life begins now. You know, you're still, your heart's still intact. Queen of Cups is here. You still love hard. You still give love. You're love of love. You're still emotionally intelligent. And that's why I, I, I'm, I was wondering why I gave that person that story. You know what I mean? But it was because you're very well-rounded. Like you're not a naive person. Like you've been through some shit. You've seen some shit. You know about how real it can get out here. And you're a very down-to-earth person. Um, people will always try to take advantage if you don't protect yourself. People will take advantage, okay? Um, that's the best way I could put that. King of Wands here with the Eight of uh, Pentacles. You're working hard on your goals at this point. At this point, you kind of just like said, you know what, again, surrender. It is what it is. I kind of got to let this go and I got to build my money back. Everything that I put into this shit, I got to make sure I recoup this shit back because this was a dud. This this did not do what I thought it was going to do. You got that six of swords being here. You're out. This person was flighty in and out, giving their heart to you and everybody else. Anybody that will listen. They, there they ass was. Page of swords being here. And the queen of swords. You're learning who you are now. You're learning that you have choices. You're learning you have choices. You don't have to sit in this. You don't want to sit in it, get your ass out. But I tell you what, this person is really um, trying to make themselves out to be the victim uh, because you found yourself, because you found self-love, because you decided I love myself more than I love you or your situation. At the, at the end of the fucking day, it's your situation. You were the one out here doing X, Y, and Z. I didn't benefit off of it, you know? So I think at that point when you had that hard realization, it was like at one, how do I say, at one point you felt so sorry for this person that you couldn't do that. At this point in your life, you're like, if you don't get up out my face, don't ever ask me for another dime. Don't ever ask me for help. I'm good. Go call her. Go call him. Call whoever you was with when you weren't with me. <laughs> um, and they are come. Oh Lord, the healing is needed. This, I don't even know. Maybe you and this person mm, feels like you may have. They may have tried to pop the question to you. Whew, it is just giving jail talk in a huge way you know if somebody is promising you the moon the stars and everything above when i get out it's gonna be this it's gonna be that i mean damn again if this story does not resonate with you please don't try to make it fit this was for somebody that needed to hear that they were way better than what they were given someone they they're you're way better than than this person's bullshit and and the lies and the deceit that they were telling that they were trying to pull over you you know um it definitely was time to move on. Patience and planning is here. With the number seven, I don't know what card that was that fell. Oh, partnerships and alliances. You're learning new ways. Um, and you're, you're actually working with new people now. So if you did start a new job, this is that sign of faith to let you know keep moving forward. This actually is a good chapter in your life. If you're starting a business, whatever your finances are, this is a good good momentum is coming with your money and it really was after you cut this dead weight off all of a sudden everything started like moving at an accelerated rate okay so have patience and planning when it comes to that this person is trapped in fear when it comes to watching you succeed it is what it is um they feel like i don't know it's giving like this person felt like you were a money train or something like they felt like you were always going to be there you were always going to bail them out like you always you was never going to not be there this is how this person really felt the success came when you decided to be there for yourself, truly. Like, that's when the knowledge came. That's when understanding how this works, you know what I mean? And 
and really valuing yourself came into play when you said, you know what, I'm just going to put what I was putting into somebody else into me. Moving on right behind it, I, ain't got, I have no choice but to detach. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, that's on me now. I can't sit here and blame nobody but myself. So I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not even going to give to this anymore. Because you made a lot of sacrifices with this particular person. Um, but spirit right now is saying, hey, stand your ground. Keep standing on business. Keep no Look at that. You got the number seven here three times. Okay. Um, please look that up. 777. For me, it just means the knowledge and the attainment that you got from this experience is going to propel you in life. It literally taught you a hard lesson that you'll never have to learn again. Um, it also taught you a hard lesson in loving yourself and putting yourself first. That's not selfish. That is this person was selfish. You were being selfless. Now it's time to be selfish. Okay. Um, solitude is here. Meditate. Really learn how to ground yourself, especially with that amount of energy and all of the things this person was doing, all the things that you found out. You found out about family members that knew and everybody that played a part. When these emotions come up, pray. When these emotions come up, say affirmations to yourself. When these emotions come up, allow it to happen so that you can pour back into yourself because that's really what's needed is for you to really validate yourself for you to say you know why I did that because I'm a good person because I have a good heart because when I love I love hard and I don't have any regrets I really don't because I can't change the past but I know damn well moving forward I'll never do nothing like that again I know moving forward nobody can ever take advantage of me like that again I can't change what happened if I sit here and drive myself crazy and regret I'll be stuck in that situation I have moved on Okay. And the definition of grounding is understanding where I am in the present moment. I'm not in the past regretting any of that shit. I have moved on from all of it. Okay. This person has nothing but obstacles and challenges coming their way. And that's just me being honest. Cause at this point, what you're pouring into yourself, when I say you don't realize how much money this person was costing your ass, like all of a sudden it's like, all of this, these opportunities come out of nowhere. People come out of nowhere. This person was holding you back completely and totally. You got awareness with material harvest here. Number nine, fruition attainment. What you're trying to do is going to happen. What you're manifesting for yourself is coming into fruition. And this person has nothing but obstacles and challenges in front of them. Destiny is here. It is what it is. This is fate. This is karma. This is karma. And they have to live in it. And you are not a part of their karmic debt at all. Okay. All right. I'm going to end it here. <laughs> that shit went everywhere. I hope that resonated for somebody. I truly do. But keep your head up because you, you, you a true soldier. You really are. Like you really tried to hold it down for somebody. They just didn't appreciate it. And they damn sure didn't deserve it. And they damn sure didn't deserve you. But keep walking in your destiny. Keep moving forward and keep being as intuitive as you are. And remember, when it comes to honesty, I'm going to say it correctly this time. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can always expect it from myself. Be true to yourself moving forward. Okay? All right, guys. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.